this building. Okay. Before that, it kind of is just here. Okay. okay. So we're going to pick again on Mrs. Schwari's class because that's the class my kid is in. Right. And so I'm going to mess with his data. Cause... So each okay. kid, I get it. Every kid has their own barcode. Mm -hmm. And they um, are alphabetical by last name. Okay. Which is hard with the little ones. I know because half of them don't know their last name. But if you flip the book around and say, find yourself, they can usually do that. So, you know, it's, or you, you get to know them and then it's okay. And it's most often two pages. So there's kids on the back side as well. Okay. And um, so when you check out a book, you need to give the computer two pieces of information now. When you checked in the book, you gave it one piece. Check it in. That's it. When you check out two pieces, I need to tell it who and what. Okay. So which kid? And what book do they have? Okay, so it requires two parts. You're doing it in the same spot, in the circulation. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of being on this check-in tab where we were, you're next door on the check-out tab. Now, this is key. If you have one thing to remember when you're checking out books, it's this. Every single time you come to this screen and any time you're coming toward this book and checking a kid out, you want a blank screen here. You don't want an old kid's info in there, okay, or the prior kid. So this is what this little note is for, okay? Click new patron, which patrons are our children, apparently, okay? And that will give you clear, okay? So it's every single time? Every to that single time. Okay. Okay? So every time you click check out a book, it's scan a kid, scan the book, new patron. Don't go try scan to a kid, scan the book. erase each line. Or... No, no, exactly. Please don't. It may work. It I don't know. It still will have that information. It still is going to be holding on to that record. Yes, absolutely. So first we want to tell it what kid. Okay. So you're going to go to your book here, and you're going to find your kid. And I'm going to pick up on my own child and Riley Francisco. I scanned his barcode top half of the screen fills in with his info okay mm -hmm. you know I don't really care about the info so much as maybe I want to look at it and make sure it's the right name yeah. or the right kid you know because sometimes you accidentally scan the wrong thing and then I want to check out his book so he is going to hand me his book and he wants to check this book out and then I'm gonna go ahead and scan the book so, scan the kid, scan the book. Now, once I've done that, the book info pops down into here, and it also lets me know loaned to Francisco Riley, Riley Francisco, okay? Great, this book is checked out to Riley, fabulous. Now, next kid comes up, so I need to click new patron, and then I'm going to scan this next kiddo, and sorry, this thing's like stretching yeah. too far just because I have it. Um, over here. Oh, Ryan G. And now Ryan hands me his book. And he already has an overdue book. Oh, it knows. It knows. Oh. It knows. Okay. So, um, this. Does it tell you what book? It, no. It does not tell me on here. I can find it, but it doesn't tell me on, on right here. I wish it did. So you'd have it on the report by that point, right? What? You'd have it on the report, so that's a place to look. And there's another way you can look for it. It would be super nice if it tell you right here, though. Um, but now you have a choice. What book? I know, exactly. And so now you have a choice. You have a choice of saying yes or no. Okay? Um, oh, this is the override. If this is, right, if this is a fourth grader and he knows he should bring in his stuff back in, he's like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Then do I want to proceed anyway? No, I do not. And you don't get to check out a book. If it's a kindergarten and they're crying and hysterical, then I may be tempted to click yes and just go ahead and check out that book to them. Is it ultimately okay? up to the teacher or up to us? It's a little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both. I'd rather not bother the teacher if I can make that decision. Yeah, exactly. Um, and sometimes the teacher knows, you know, the kid knows if they, if it's, oh, I didn't want to check that out to you. Okay, so Ryan, get away from the desk. Okay. So. Books to you. Right. So now I wanted to show you what happens when you forget to collect new patient patron in between. So let's go back to Riley. And so Riley handed me, he checked out one book already. Okay, he handed me this book. He's a fifth, fourth grader. He's allowed two books. No problem. 
Then I go to the next kid and he comes in. I forget to scan new patron and I just go ahead and check out another book to Riley. Max loan amount is exceeded, proceed anyway. So there's your warning. It'll let you get two books deep, okay, if you've made a mistake. On the little kids, then it, it I don't, it, I unfortunately don't have it set up to be different for one kid versus another. Um, all the kids are limited to two. So it will let you make a little more of an error on the on the littler kids, but um, not a big deal. Say no, I don't want to proceed. It didn't, it never checked this book out because it didn't make this transaction. So tell this kid, hold on to your book just a minute. Let me fix my problem, and then you go grab the last kid and you go ahead and check in their book, and then check it out to the right kid and then move on. Okay. So, um, so much easier to just click new patron, right? Just click new patron. Well, and, and really, in the beginning, more if more you know a couple of books got checked out to the wrong kid, you go go back and fix them later. You know, it's not the end of the world. So.